as the industry focuses on making the power grid more efficient, resilient, and alternative energy capable, AES is leading the way in turning the vision of advanced energy storage into a commercial reality, benefiting more than 60 million consumers in the U.S. As an operator of utility companies, we felt we knew what was needed to introduce energy storage onto the grid. We knew that we needed ancillary services to help with the intermittency problem that you have with renewables, for example. So we came up with proprietary algorithms that allow us to use these batteries to inject or withdraw energy uh, from the network, helping produce a steady flow of energy. And this is really what our clients needed and what our clients wanted. Starting in 2008 with Indianapolis Power and Light, AES integrated the first lithium ion battery system for the electric grid. Its four megawatts of battery storage, validated for frequency regulation, encouraged other regions like PJM Interconnection. As one of the largest grid system operators in the world, they were looking to optimize their performance and efficiency. From an operator's perspective, this is one of the fastest resources we have to respond automatically to any frequency deviation caused by renewables or even steel mills. It's very important to keep the balance on the system and it will actually allow us to integrate more resources. If you like wind, you have to love storage. PJM's initial testing of one of AES's first units has since expanded to its use of over 100 megawatts of AES storage resources in 2013, serving customers in 13 states and the District of Columbia. To date, AES storage fleet in PJM has delivered over $20 million of savings compared to the power services it replaced by meeting 1.1 gigawatt hours of annual service. That's about one-sixth of PGM's regulation needs 24-7. The innovation that AES brought to this project and the quickness uh, of their decision process was most impressive to make this happen uh, in a very short period of time. And when AES came, they were thinking much bigger than anyone else that I had seen in the battery industry. Working closely with system operators, utility commissions, and federal regulators, AES's progress on storage has been the catalyst for broader industry change. Its storage units were the first to be certified as power generators in the U.S., making them a revenue source for their operators. This is a very important investment for the Dayton area. It represented multi-million dollars of investment in our local community. Relative to other technology we could have looked at to add grid capacity, this took months from conception to up and running, or as we could have been looking at many, many years for a gas turbine or other type of technology. Local communities react very positively to this technology. It has very limited footprint, visible footprint, uh, low emissions, and it's extremely quiet. AES has also pioneered the combination of wind generation and energy storage. This 64 megawatt battery storage array atop Laurel Mountain in West Virginia is helping PJM use renewable energy to balance the grid and to make it more resilient and reliable. One of the things that's important for the energy storage system is its reliability. We had a 95% reliability target. Last month we achieved 99%. Building on the transformation of other U.S. markets, AES is now developing 100-plus megawatt battery storage arrays that can allow California to meet its targets for more than 1,300 megawatts of energy storage by 2020 for its ever-expanding renewable energy resources. AES today is the world's largest operator of battery storage. We have over $100 million of investment in energy storage. Now, the real beneficiary are our final consumers who get a better electric service by having a more stable grid and at the same time a grid that's able to incorporate more renewables than it would otherwise.